In all, in all seriousness, how do you uh, manage when uh, the conditions get cold and snowy like this? What, what, by faith. By faith? By faith. That's good. Uh, the people that help me from day to day, it keeps me warm, but uh, sweet Jesus keeps me warmer. And uh, I never had faith before. And when you lose everything, all of a sudden, you got to turn to somebody. I turn to Jesus. I'm not a religious man, but I tell you what, Jesus helped me. Welcome to Labra number 151. Labra number 152. Labra 153. 154. 155. 56. 157. 160. 166. Welcome to Labra number 174. 174 straight weeks of sharing food, more importantly, sharing friendship and sharing faith with our sisters and brothers on the streets of Akron. We go into downtown Akron. Consecutive weeks, every Monday night, out here, rain or shine, snow, whatever. And we take um, several different stops where we know uh, there's people in need, homeless people. We make sandwiches and food, and we share them in conversation with people we've met over the past 158 weeks on the streets of Akron. I'm looking at sandwiches, talk to them, make friends, build relationships. We look at Labra as a four-hour prayer, and so praying gets us closer to God, gets us centered on, on what our true purpose is, and yeah, part of that is, you know, passing out sandwiches, hot chocolate, but the other part is, is fellowship and relationships and everything, and uh, making people realize that there is hope, though there may not seem like it. What do you think you give to the kids? All I give the kids, I just know what they give to me. And what is it that they give to you? Hope. Hope? And prayer. And prayer. <laughs> and always get that. On November 6, 2006, a group of law students went to the streets of Akron. Uh, to start the Lava Project, that was the first night. We had the first two they met. They've been a blessing to us, bringing food on Monday nights. Among other things. Where, uh, where, did, where did you meet them the first time? Right, right here. here on the steps. Okay. It was a Friday night, it was cold, we were starving. And they brought Whopper Juniors and Diet Cokes. We want y'all to know we appreciate y'all. And we love y'all. And we look forward to seeing y'all every Monday when y'all show up. All of y'all. We wish all of y'all could come. <laughs> Hopefully all of y'all might come someday. <laughs> we are on our way to Akron right now um, to our first couple of locations. And the first location is usually the house of Laura and Shakur. And they're our friends who used to live on the streets, but now they have their own house and they have their two daughters. Shahad had her birthday. And we bought her a cookie cake. We brought them book bags full of supplies. We had like a little party in their front yard. It was fun. My favorite stop was our first stop. And we were talking to all the kids. And I just really loved all their personalities. And I thought that was fun. How's school going? Cool. There's an A in reading, A in mathematics, um, A in language arts, B in social studies, B in science, A in spelling, A in handwriting, A in art, A in music, and A in what, physical ed education. Sure. Where are you going to high school? That's right. We're here with Sean, Scott, Jake, and Jessica. On, on uh, Monday night, number 154. How many uh, how many weeks have we been stopping by to visit with, with you guys? Um, about four weeks. Four weeks, okay. It's been about maybe three for me. Three weeks for you? Yes. It's been about a couple, a couple weeks. What do you like best about when the kids pull up? They're nice, actually. They're nice and yes, right. it's respectful. Yeah, I mean, it's... The best y'all can do. Meet a new person. 
Yeah, you meet new so. people every every time you come here. It isn't just about the food, nothing like that. But I get to meet new people, new students almost every week. And I've had real good friends from here. From Can you tell us a little bit about the uh, about the kids, about uh, what it means to you to have, have them? Well, Come what out. it what it what it means to me is that they care very much about me. You know what I'm saying? And that they are people that actually I mean they care about us. They're taking their time out to see about us. And what does and what does that mean to you to have it's, these kids come it, here? It, 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 it makes me feel great because you know why? I don't have nobody else to come see about me. And if it wasn't for Los Jesuit and places like that. Uh, my life would be a lot worse, but they give us some hope in life, and they're they're there for us every week, no matter what. They come out here if it's raining or shining, and God bless them all. I think I just really like the fact that the people, even if you were just talking to them, they still appreciated it. And just one man, I think, when you're at St. Bernard's. Um, we didn't have water or something, and he said, that's okay, because we appreciate what you guys do here, so that really stuck with me. I'm a drug addict and an alcoholic, and I'm homeless. You all see right here at the church. You see uh, my clothes, my blanket? Yeah, tell me It's about hard you. out of here, man. Nobody will hire me anymore. Not for the work I do. Nobody will. I used to have everything in my life. I made many accomplishments when I was a young man and I was married and I had a wonderful wife and family and everything else. I had it all and I ended up with nothing. When your mother put you out the nest or your father put you out the nest and you started paying them bills, you're going to realize that. It ain't that easy out here. <laughs> you find God out here at all, Chris? God's with me every day. Yeah. How so? <laughs> here. The Lord will bring you through. He will guide you, lead you, direct you in any situation. I am so blessed, and I know what, why it is. It's your guys' love, prayers, food that make me a happy man. Well, the, the feeling's mutual. I know it is, Jody. That's right. Now, can I kick him and throw him out of the road? <laughs> Funny people. Yeah, we met some really cool guys. Well, we're at Holy Trinity Lutheran Church, and we're handing out food to some of the homeless people and introducing ourselves and just talking to them. Share, sharing stories. I've been homeless for uh, four and a half months in Akron. I'm not an Akron boy, but uh, I came out here. There was a calling. My brother dropped me off here and says, "Try to, try to get the best of your life and all that." I had everything in my life. I lost it all. You guys showed so much caring and love, and treating us with food, clothing, and all that. I mean, there, you, you are God's angels coming down to us. Father, we come to you in the name of Jesus. We ask that you bless everyone gathered here in this circle. We ask that you bless all of us, keep us safe, and watch over us on this cold autumn night. That you fill us with your wisdom, fill us with your guidance, but most importantly, you fill us with your love, because we know that you're always with us, Jesus. You always walk with us, you always talk with us, and you always guide us along the way. So we thank you for your love, we thank you for your protection, and we thank you for all the blessings in our lives. Have a good night. I appreciate nice y'all doing you. what y'all doing, well, and may God be with everybody. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 Keep coming back, y'all.